Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martinshire with your outlook for July 19th, 2017. For your Wednesday, we're going to have an increase in heat and humidity today. It was already hot yesterday. We're going to continue that today, maybe raise the temperature a couple degrees and uh, get into above the 90 degree mark in uh, many locations for central and southern areas at the very least. And that's going to hold over the next couple of days, we think, uh, all the way through Friday at the very least. After that, it gets a little tricky, and I'll show you that forecast uh, coming up. Uh, here we Here is today, we have just a stray chance for a... Thunderstorm, I won't even call this isolated. This is just a stray uh, thunderstorm moving through. Uh, it will be generally during the afternoon hours. Let's go over the NAM high res future simulator radar. I'll start this off at 2 p.m. And uh, you can see not very much here on the radar at this point. As we move forward in time, though, I'm sorry, this is starting off at noon. Not much is going on at this time. Uh, then we do start to see a few individual uh cells trying to break out here around the harrisburg area this is around 5 p.m and you can see through the course of the evening seven eight nine and then it just dies off you didn't see very really much there and that's what we're expecting today just a stray thunderstorm in some areas uh not everywhere most areas will stay dry today uh very hot and humid this afternoon again it's temperatures are going above the 90 degree mark in many locations going a little bit further from this point going into thursday not expecting anything uh, much different maybe the temperatures go up even higher uh so forecasting a high of 95 down here in philadelphia so uh it all along the i-95 corridor so it'll be a very hot today uh, day a lower to middle 90s across much of the region maybe upper 80s to 90 further north but uh this little system here is going to move to the north it's going to drag a cold front through the region and it's going to be a mostly dry front. There will be uh, areas opportunity for the uh, areas up north here to get into showers or thunderstorms in the evening on on Thursday or maybe into the uh, first part of the overnight. But then that moves through, and you can see elsewhere that as that front moves south here, it's not really much of a front, not really a cold push behind this at all. So I'm calling this a cold front, but it's not really cold. Okay, so here's the boundary right like this. It's going to move through. Uh, so by the time we get to Friday, it's going to get moved down here to a position right where the tip of the arrow is, right down to about here, and it's going to stall. And that's going to eventually to return northward as a warm front this weekend. This is going to be very different, uh, very difficult forecast though, since that uh, front's now down to the south. Uh, here's later Friday. It's not really, again, not going to do any of the temperature. still very hot here on Friday. Temperatures are still going to be in the lower to middle 90s once again. And then once we get into uh, Saturday, that is that uh, front is going that was stalled to the south is going to move northward as a warm front. The question now remains, how far north does it get? How quickly? And then it does is, is there an area of low pressure that's going to form along this frontal boundary and traverse it, bringing us a rainy Saturday? Uh, right now, this particular model is showing, uh, showing that it will bring some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening along that boundary. You can clearly see the boundary now, now that it's populated with precipitation, kind of draped right over Pennsylvania. I uh, will say that the, uh, like for the GFS for one, one example, uh, brings us in a lot later. So it's more like toward the evening that you would get scattered thunderstorms. So it gets very hot again on Saturday. Uh, this particular model, because that boundary is draped over the region and you have those showers and thunderstorms most of the day, it keeps it a little cooler. So we'll have to wait and see how that works out as far as temperatures go. It's all a matter of timing. If this gets in here quicker, like this model shows, then it will be obviously cooler. If it takes its time getting in here, we don't, we don't get it until scattered thunderstorms until later in the day on Saturday, which is what the GFS is showing. Then we will have uh, a, a hotter, hotter day, partly cloudy to start the day, and then maybe some more, more clouds increase in the afternoon with a scattered thunderstorm threat. So this is still evolving, this forecast for the weekend. I know we've been talking about this the last couple days. We're kind of uncertain, still are, because we still have these timing differences of uh, – Probably about, instead of being 12 hours now, now it's more like 6 to 8 hour differences, but that can make a huge difference of whether it's raining at noon or it's raining at 6 p.m., whether you can get daytime activities in. Uh, but then uh, also here on, on Sunday, one front really not moving too much, so we have another area of uh, low pressure that's going to move off to our north, bring some rain overnight Saturday night, it looks like, and then uh, maybe that clears out for Sunday morning, but you still have plenty of clouds and, and uh, scattered showers and thunder, thunderstorms still possible here later Sunday as well. So we're going to call this just an afternoon threat for now here on Sunday. Uh, again, this is going to be something to change whether that we're to see where these models go in the future. The actual cold front, though, uh, responsible for a strong trough. There's a very cool air up here for this time of year, and uh, cold front's going to be moving through uh, on, during the day here on Monday, probably later in the day. Not a lot of activity with it, so we're looking at the isolated to widely scattered storms here on Monday with the front. You can see that here. Once that moves through, this cold air is going to come through, and that's going to come, or not cold, but cooler air is going to come through here on uh, Tuesday. And probably stick with us Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Friday, but I think it's probably going to be Tuesday through Thursday when we're looking at temperatures that are slightly below normal for this time of year, but not cold. We're just talking about temperatures instead of being uh, around 85, 86-ish, for which is a normal high, talking about maybe 
uh, you know, 80, get on either side of 80 degrees, 78, 80, 82, something like that for a couple days. And then starts creeping up a little bit once we get toward Thursday. But, uh, you know, this trough is going to, the high pressure is going to kick this out. And we're going to have uh, mostly sunny skies, though. So we'll be a dry period uh, once we get this trough settling in. You can clearly see where that trough influence is. So anything up here is going to be cooler. This is now looking at Wednesday. So it does look like uh, cooler, but also drier, lower humidity. So if that's your thing in the summertime, you can't stand the heat and humidity or just look for a little bit of a break every now and again next week is a time for that to happen i'm eastern pa weather authority meteorologist bobby martrich that is our outlook for july 19th 2017 have a great wednesday